Gravity is a familiar force that we experience every day. It's what keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground and ensures that the Earth continues its orbit around the Sun. Isaac Newton, the great scientist, described gravity as a force of attraction between objects with mass. According to Newton, objects with more mass exert a stronger gravitational pull on other objects. Later, Albert Einstein came along and revolutionized our understanding of gravity with his groundbreaking ideas. His theory of general relativity describes gravity not as a force, but as the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. Imagine placing a heavy bowling ball on a trampoline. It creates a dip, and that's similar to how mass warps the fabric of space-time. Einstein's theory has been incredibly successful in explaining many phenomena. It accurately predicts the bending of light around massive objects, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, and it also predicts the existence of mysterious objects known as black holes. However, there's a significant problem. Einstein's theory of general relativity doesn't play well with another fundamental theory of physics, quantum mechanics, which governs the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. Quantum mechanics governs the world of the very small atoms, electrons, and other subatomic particles. In the quantum realm, energy, momentum, and other physical quantities are not continuous, but come in discrete packets called quanta. The quantum world is inherently uncertain and probabilistic. Quantum mechanics has led to groundbreaking technologies like lasers and transistors. It's the foundation of our understanding of chemistry, materials, science, and many other fields. But when we try to apply quantum mechanics to gravity, we run into serious trouble. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They form when massive stars collapse at the end of their lives. Black holes are incredibly dense objects, and their gravity is so intense that it warps space-time in extreme ways. At the center of a black hole is a singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume. Here the laws of physics as we know them break down. To understand what happens at the singularity, we need a theory of quantum gravity, a theory that can describe gravity in the realm of the very small. Section 4, String Theory and the Fabric of Space-Time One of the most prominent candidates for a theory of quantum gravity is string theory. This theory aims to reconcile general relativity, which describes gravity, with quantum mechanics, which explains the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. String theory proposes that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles, but tiny, vibrating strings. These strings can vibrate at different frequencies, much like the strings of a musical instrument. Different vibrations of these strings give rise to different particles and forces, including gravity. This means that all the particles and forces we observe are just different manifestations of the same fundamental entity. String theory suggests that our universe has more than three spatial dimensions. In fact, it posits the existence of up to 10 or even 11 dimensions. These extra dimensions are curled up and hidden from our view, much like a garden hose might appear as a one-dimensional line from a distance. Only upon closer inspection do we see its true three-dimensional nature. String theory is a mathematically elegant theory, but it has yet to be experimentally verified. Scientists around the world are working tirelessly to find evidence that could support or refute this fascinating theory. Section 5. Loop, Quantum Gravity, Space and Time, Quantized. Another promising approach to quantum gravity is loop quantum gravity. Loop quantum gravity suggests that space-time itself is quantized, meaning it's not continuous but made up of discrete chunks, like pixels on a computer screen. These chunks of space-time are incredibly tiny, far smaller than anything we can currently observe. Loop quantum gravity predicts that black holes have a minimum size. It also suggests that the universe may have originated from a previous contracting phase, a big bounce, rather than a big bang. Like string theory, loop quantum gravity is still under development and lacks experimental confirmation. Section 6. The Future of Quantum Gravity The search for a theory of quantum gravity is one of the most challenging and exciting frontiers in modern physics. It represents a monumental effort to bridge the gap between general relativity, which describes the cosmos on a grand scale, and quantum mechanics which governs the subatomic world. It's a quest to unify our understanding of the very large and the very small, to find a single framework that can describe all the fundamental forces of nature. 
this endeavor could potentially unlock new realms of knowledge and lead to groundbreaking technological advancements. While we don't yet have a complete theory of quantum gravity, progress is being made. Researchers around the world are tirelessly working on innovative theories and conducting experiments to test these ideas. New theoretical ideas are being developed and experimentalists are searching for ways to test these ideas. The collaboration between theorists and experimentalists is crucial in this field as it helps refine our understanding and brings us closer to a unified theory. The journey to unravel the mysteries of quantum gravity is ongoing and it promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe we live in. As we continue to explore, we may discover new principles that could change the way we perceive reality itself.